I love my past. I love the ghost of my past. I love when my parents were younger than me than what I'm now. They were having their friends come over at night while I was supposed to be in bed sleeping. And they jam out to those old eight tracks. <laughs> song by Arthur Brown. I remember that song by The Doors, Light My Fire. Songs that I can hear in my head, but I could not tell you who, who sung them or what the names of them are. I just know they made me feel good while I was lying in bed. The air felt excited. And I was supposed to be asleep. But I couldn't fall asleep. I love my past. Yes, I had a wonderful past. I also, I love my future. Because I look forward to one day being a rapper, a rocker, a good looking guy. Something I'm not right now. And I had to say this, I know you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I hate my present. I hate the day. Today, today is hell. I'm in hell today. Okay? The one thing I fear the most, old age, I look at my parents today, and I remember way back when they were young. Yes, my parents were once young. I remember my grandparents full of life themselves. I finally get together, always doing stuff together, playing horseshoes, and my grandparents right there in the middle of it, swimming with us, playing horse in the water. Now my granddaddy walks with a cane. I look, and I, I, now I know that that would be me one day. And it scares me. The, the other fear is, will I fulfill my dream to be able to enjoy the fruits of my success while I'm still young? Or will, I ha or, or, will, it, or, ha or will it happen at all? Or will it happen that I'll have to be an old man with a few years left to enjoy it? They say the world is supposed to end in 2012 by the Mayan calendar. I don't believe the world will end. I believe the Bible. But I do believe America will disintegrate. My body is becoming wracked with pain. My biological clock tells me I have eight more good years left before my body's wracked with pain. None of these doctors can figure out what is wrong with me. I think they just want to treat symptoms so that they can fatten the pharmacy's pocket, who in turn can fatten their pocket. Because if they kill the cause, then there's not much money in that. I'd sell my soul to get on Dr. Oz and be and to make me normally get him. But sometimes I wonder if he could help me. Sometimes I wonder if God could cure me. But anyways... That's my fear, that I'll grow old, that I'll become a nobody. What do I got in my pockets? Empty air. 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 Isn't it interesting in the Bible that spirit is often called wind? Air. 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 That is all I got left. Time has taken everything from me that I once had. Time has taken the joy that I had back in 1995 and before. All I got left is my spirit, my soul, my hopes. That one day I can return to the happiness I once had. And to all I got left, you can't see it. How the hell are you supposed to believe it if you can't see it, like the song says? If I can see it, then I can be it. What if I can't see it? Intangible. You can't hold it. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I think about that time. <laughs> I was at the softball. I was at the softball game. <laughs> I was crying about the rain. <laughs> I was 32 years old at the time. <laughs> Grabbing about the rain, having interrupted the softball game. <laughs> and this young girl, teenage girl, was like, How old are you? <laughs> because, maybe because I looked fully grown, but I sure wasn't acting like it. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> that's not something you ask a person how old are you <laughs> I thought it was taboo to ask somebody how old are you <laughs> yeah she's not the only one who's asked me that I do not act my age and if what I've been told is true 
I do not look my age. That's great. <laughs> Who wants to be some old fogey, old fogey prune? I want to live. The past 19 years of my life have been wasted. <laughs> so I've got to take it back again. <laughs> so I didn't have the chance to grow up because whatever. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> This is where I live. This is the city where I live. Kenston, North Carolina. But don't try to get here. You need a time machine to get here. We're so ass backwards behind the times. This city sucks. I'm telling you. Ever since 1988, we've gone backwards and not forwards. This is Queen Street. Yes. In years past, it would be full of cars at this time. Four o'clock sharp. Welcome to rush hour traffic in Kinston, North Carolina. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> well, we are now coming on to rush hour traffic on West Vernon Avenue. Can you see all the cars? There's so many cars, they block each other out of sight, so you can't see them. And this is 4 o'clock, rush hour traffic. <laughs> They're behind us. In front of us. Well, here's a little bit of traffic. Not much, but it's more than what you were looking at a second ago. I'm hungry. Fortunately, we're coming up to a Bojangles right there. I ain't got any money. So how do I survive when I ain't got any money? I panhandle. <laughs> yes. I ain't got that thing called pride to hold me back. Pride goeth before a fall. When I'm hungry, I'll beg to eat, get something to eat. I don't care. I'd rather be full than, and have no pride than be hungry and have all the pride of the world. <coughs> you can see Saturday rush hour traffic has gotten a little bit busier. Still dead as a ghost town. I Can you believe this? <coughs> Back in 1987, this avenue, Vernon Avenue, would be filled with cars. I mean, packed. Now look at it. There's absolutely no sense in this. This city sucks. You know, I'm writing a song about that too. K-I-N-S-T-O-N Sucks! K-I-N-S-T-O-N Sucks! K-I-N-S-T-O-N Sucks! K-I-N-S-T-O-N Sucks! This city 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 sucks! There's where we're fixing to stop next. The McDonald's. And you know what? I just finished my drink. From Bojangles. So what do we do with our trash when we're done with it? Hell, they got workers who get paid to clean that up. I don't. don't, 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 don't. So, <laughs> I haven't got time. In clothes? Yeah. Thanks for the pen cash. I'm going to get my coffee. <laughs> and all, my body is totally falling apart. This city's falling apart. This country's falling apart. The whole freaking world is falling apart. 
But I, I deserve better. I am not going to settle for this shit. I sell my soul to Lucifer. If God can't do it, be a good looking guy, a songwriter, rapper, and for the happiness I had way back then for 1995. And again, I'll say it. I sell my soul to Lucifer. If God won't do it, I'd rather God do it, but it seems like he's not going to, so I gotta get it some way. I mean, I resent I resent that the end is coming and I haven't been able to fulfill my dreams. But even if I do, I won't have long to enjoy it. I freaking resent You see this? Doing yeah. a video. This is three hundred dollars. Panhandled cash going into my bank account so I can save up to get a cosmetic surgery. Well, I gotta get a hit song out first. The song produced, and I can have a hit and make the money I need for the cosmetic surgery. Goodbye.